everyone, my name is Matt. I'm not in my shop this week. Today is September 7th, and this is my weekly shop update. So I'm currently in Mardock, England, and just down the road from Yandles. I'm staying at the Hollies here in Mardock, and this place is really cool. A lot of cool history here, the buildings, it's super awesome. So I'm down the road from Yandles, which is where I'll be tomorrow, Friday the 8th and Saturday the 9th at the Triton booth. I'll be doing um, like a project. I'll be at the booth all day. I'm also be doing a project for about 45 minutes on each, each of the days. Um, I'll be doing a little serving platter. So a few, actually probably back in the winter time, I posted a little video of the serving platters that I did. I also did them with April when she was at my shop last fall. Uh, just a little live edge serving platters. I got a slab of walnut from Yandles a few days ago, and I'm gonna use that to make the two platters. So one for each day. We'll do a little bit about flattening using the thicknesser, and then also show how to use the, um, the router with the guide bushings to make the little handholds and the underside. So that's what I'll be doing for like 45 minutes those days. And then the rest of the day, I'll be hanging out at the booth and walk around the show. And um, if you're in the area, definitely stop by. It's gonna be a fun, fun time. <laughs> so I got in on Wednesday morning. I had an overnight flight Tuesday. Wednesday, yesterday was a very tiring day. <laughs> the jet lag and the not sleeping on the plane the night before made it kind of rough, but I'm feeling pretty good today. Kind of slept all night last night and I'm kind of into this um, swing of things as far as the time frame and the days and the no jet lag thing go. So I feel pretty good for not sleeping. <laughs> so today I spent the day at the Trident headquarters. They showed off a lot of the new products that, they ha that they're going to have for the next about a year or so of their product development. So a lot of new stuff's going to be coming out from them and I'm super excited about a lot of the products that they're launching. So I really can't wait to get them into my shop. Then they also showed me their distribution facility and that place was just absolutely massive, just crazy. So it was really cool to be able to see that firsthand because I've seen that like when April was here, I think in the spring, she was posting a video of the warehouse and it just looked ridiculously epic. So it was just cool to see it in person. Uh, and then of course next week I'll be taking the, uh, the, uh, the chair making class. That'll be a green, uh, woodworking chair making class so you just grab a log and you split it up and you're using a fro and you're using a draw knife to make all the spindles and the pole lathe and you'll you'll dry all, all the spindles out there and you'll carve out the seat it's all hand tools it's going to be a lot of fun i'm really looking forward to that that's going to be up in the cotswolds somewhere up there in that um the cotswolds area so that's where i'm going next on that starts on monday so i'm looking forward to that so back in the shop <laughs> Uh, before I left, I got the lower case of the high boy all glued up and all assembled. That went super smoothly. I spent a good amount of time making sure everything was as it should be. I made sure all the cabriole legs were good to go. I made sure the panels met the cabriole legs at the right place and everything just looked fine. A couple of dry fits and I was ready to go. Now the whole uh, assembly gets glued up in two phases, or actually three phases. You glue up the back section, the front section, and then you glue the two sections together with all of the internals for the drawers included in that glue up. And overall went really nicely. Everything came together really well. And all of the, uh, the panels get draw board and pegged, um, or it, draw boring is pegging, I guess, <laughs> but they get pegged to the legs. And for that, I did a half blind pegging, just like I did back when we built the sofa table. So you only see the holes for the draw bore pegs on one of the faces, which in this case of the high boy is on the inside of the case. So the high boy is coming along really nicely. When I get back, I'll finish up the knee blocks, which will complete the lower case. There'll be these little transition blocks that go right at the knees of the cabriole legs. And then I can start on that big upper case, which I think will go a lot smoother, or at least not smoother, a lot faster because there is not a whole lot to it. The biggest thing, once I get the case done, is gonna be making all those drawers, which should be quite the undertaking. So unfortunately, I didn't get the viewer projects prep before I left, so I don't have any of those this week. I'll try and get something together for next week's update while I'll be out at the, uh, the chair making class for that one. So I'm looking forward to, again, I already said that, but I'm really, I must be really looking forward to it if I keep saying I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> So if you're going to be coming down to Yandles, looking forward to meeting you. Stop me if I am wandering around or stop by the Triton booth. Looking forward to meeting everybody. But uh, that's about all I have for this week. Thank you as always for watching. I greatly appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments about anything I talked about today, anything back in my shop, please feel free to leave me a comment. As always, I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. And until next time, <laughs> 
happy woodworking.